Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Aquarius. This is going to be for your December 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What's next for you guys in love? You can apply this to your own timelines. Uh, this could be with a new person, current person, an ex. Um, so just apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, um, for the collective uh, Aquarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? Um, so Aquarius, what's going on with Aquarius in love? Tell me about Aquarius. What's next for Aquarius in love? What's next for Aquarius in love? For December 2023, for Aquarius, for Aquarius. What's next for Aquarius in love? What's next for Aquarius in love for December 2023? For Aquarius, for Aquarius. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Knight of Swords and the Emperor. I feel like someone here wants to come in and tell you the truth or something like that. Or that this could be indication that, you know, you know, you're having some sort of major breakthrough about life, you know, and, and I feel like you're you're clear about the path that you're on or something like that. You know, I feel like, uh, you know, you're in this energy of kind of like going for what you want at this time when it comes to your career and perhaps even like, you know, your business or something like that. If you guys own your own business or that you guys are looking to start your own business here. If anything, I do feel like there's a lot of... um work that's being done here on yourself i do feel like there's an energy of you uh releasing all your pains and your burdens here you know just letting things go no longer holding on to stuff and i feel like you guys might be feeling a lot lighter here you know uh so i feel like you guys have gone through a period or that you guys are definitely going through a period of healing here after like a major heartbreak here you know i do feel like there was some sort of definitely some sort of mental abuse here i do feel like there was deception here you know i do feel like you know Perhaps because of what you've been through, maybe this is something that you haven't healed from uh, for quite a while up until this point. Maybe there could have been self-sabotage here too. But, you know, I do feel like, you know, your life is definitely changing here. You definitely leveled up here, you know. So uh, we have all um, three out of the four kings here. And then we have the emperor. Keep in mind, all the kings are the embodiment of the emperor here. So I feel like there's definitely an energy of you bossing up here. You know, I do feel like, you know, you're realizing your uh, path or that you're finding clarity in the path that you're in here um, or that the path that you're on with the hangman here in the Ten of Wands. Yeah. So what's happening is that Aquarius, I, I feel like you're definitely in the process or going through a process of releasing things that are no longer serving you anymore. And right now, I feel like you're in this energy of just really enjoying life. Yeah, just really enjoying the process here enjoying new experiences at this time here you know so what else do we have here for aquarius what else does aquarius need to know when it comes to this love situation what else does aquarius need to know look out for work on here for december 2023 sun rising Venus signs for aquarius for aquarius with the nine of cups um, you know, I feel like when it comes to love in, in this very moment here, um, I'm not going to lie. I feel like a lot of you guys are not really quite looking for it at this time. Um, you guys are just really happily singles here, just to, quite, to be quite honest here. You guys are emotionally not really ready to invest in a relationship here. You guys are more focused on your work, focused on your pentacles here. Um, you know, perhaps focus on self-love here, just taking care of you. I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you guys are definitely coming into alignment with yourself here. You know, I do feel like, you know, I, I do feel like there's a lot of uh, stability, you know, there's happiness here, you know, there's harmony here for you guys. Uh, so, you know, I do feel like you guys are definitely in this like very, 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 very balanced place right now um, and just happy with where you guys are at. You know, the three of cups here and the nine of wands. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like when it comes to also dating here, dating, going out there, meeting new people, talking to people and stuff like that. 
it's really exhausting for you guys. I do feel like a lot of you guys are definitely in this like kind of like this introverted energy here. You guys are, you know, um, you know, I feel like maybe you guys definitely have, you know, some anxiety when it comes to like social settings and stuff like that. So, you know, when it comes to meeting new people for you guys, it doesn't really come easy. But I feel like in this very moment, I do feel like a lot of you guys definitely enjoy being single at, the, at, the, at this time here. Like, I feel like you guys have no problem with it. You know, I feel like you guys are actually, like, in this very moment here, Aquarius, you guys are definitely, 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 definitely thriving. Okay? So the Nine of Cups here. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Why is the Nine of Cups here? The Nine of Cups and the Hermit. Virgo energy. The Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Eight of Cups and the Nine of Cups here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, I just feel like you guys are definitely focusing on your spiritual journey. Definitely in this energy of really connecting with yourself. Yeah, connecting with yourself emotionally, intuitively too. You know, um, I do feel like maybe in the past you realize that, you know, because of the lack of trust in your intuition, you feel like maybe that's why you got hurt, you know? So I feel like you guys are really leaning into that at this time here. Uh, you guys, you know, I do feel like you guys are definitely, a lot of you guys are definitely in the creative field here. You know, it could be that you guys, you know, create artwork. You guys might be doing something very, like, artsy or something like that. You know, something with, like, like the computers, with the designs and stuff like that. <coughs> but, yeah, I, I just, you know, yeah, I just... <laughs> feel like you guys are definitely focused on other things here. The Lovers and the Queen of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Why is it Three of Pentacles here? And the Six of Pentacles. There is someone here that's trying to come back and work things out here with you. This person stresses you out. You know, I feel like this person's definitely coming in some sort of, with some sort of apology here or that this person's thinking about you a lot. But I feel like you might reject this person's, uh, offer here to speak or to reconcile here or to come back together here okay this is someone that you're tired of that you don't want to talk to here okay i i, I do feel like this sort of person is definitely a playboy playgirl sort of thing here someone here is that that's not really looking for anything serious that's hurt you multiple times here put you in some sort of third party situation here um whoever this is i do feel like this person definitely you know, even though they're trying to come back around, I mean, this person's definitely not coming back with pure intentions here. I mean, they definitely have, like, stuff that they're still going to hide from you, okay? The uh, Three of Cups, Six of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Three of Wands here. Yeah, I just feel like you guys are definitely just looking towards the future here. Uh, focusing on your successes here in life, focusing on your wins here. You know, I just feel like this is a major win for you because I feel like maybe in the past you might have, you know, just accept this is accept this this person back into your life and really trust the word that they were going to change. But I feel like it's different now. Yeah, I just feel like it's different. You're just expecting this person to hurt you again. Yeah, and like I said, you're just focusing on your businesses here. You're disengaging from this. Okay, so I feel like you've completely moved on from this here. And I feel like you're really, I feel like, this had to happen in order for you to be clear about the path that you're on, you know? So I feel like that's a really good thing that, you know, even though this was painful, you're, you are where you're at, sort of like thanks to the experience that you went through with this person. <coughs> so Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.